بالعكس جدا سعيده بحضورك جدا والله. سعيده بمعرفه حضرتك والله انا بالعكس. لان الشرف انه نتعرف بحضراتكم وناس بهالمستوى هذا انه جاي يساهمون ويلقون محاضرات وطلبتنا يستفادون من عندهم الله يسلمك طلبتنا حتى احنا من جاي نحضر اكيد نستفاد نعم. من حضراتكم شكرا جزيلا هو الفائده متبادله يعني هلا نحن نحن ما وصلنا ل لشيء كمال يعني كمال لله دائما كل يوم في تعليم دائما كل يوم في شغلات جديده فان شاء الله تعالى شو وي ستارت اوكي ثواني بس المقدمه Welcome to all attendants in a new lecture presented by Boston University for oil and gas student chapter. The title of the lecture is Wireline Technology and Well Intervention, presented to you by Mr. Samar Shukri, who has 25 years of experience in industry with seven years in management. He also worked as workover supervisor, well services team leader, senior production engineer, Senior Well Integrity Engineer, Senior Petroleum Engineer, International Oil and Gas Trainer for, from UK. Uh, and he is also accredited IWCF Well Intervention uh, Instructor from Aberdeen, Scotland. Welcome, Mr. Samer. Thank you very much. And how, I hope you're doing fine. Thank you very much. Uh, I hope uh, that everybody will enjoy our lecture for today, which is uh, about the wireline technology and well intervention. Uh, it is introduced uh, and sponsored by Basra University for Oil and Gas uh, SPE student chapter. Today is 25th of May, 2021. I will uh, just uh, a quick uh, look, I will introduce myself. Uh, my name is Samer Shukri. Uh, I studied petroleum engineering in Syria in 1990 till 1995. My nationality is Turkish. Uh, I have experience since 1995 up to date. I worked uh, in these uh, uh, fields from work of art to well services, production, well integrity, all of these, and worked for several companies. Uh, like this, started with Syrian Petroleum Company, then moved to uh, Al Furat Petroleum Company, uh, which is a joint venture between uh, Syrian Petroleum Company and Shell. And I studied also in uh, Holland uh, and got certificates uh, from uh, Shell Company uh, in Reisberg in Holland. Uh, then I moved to Edco. Uh, I worked there in this field, uh, Bab or Habsham field, uh, which is in the red, si uh, red circle. Uh, then uh, I uh, moved to training. Uh, I am international uh, oil and gas uh, trainer uh, from Scotland, uh, Aberdeen. Uh, and also uh, I uh, deliver courses for uh, International Weight Control Forum, IWCF in level two, three, and four. Uh, these are my... Uh, uh, certificates uh, for uh, training. Also, if you want, uh, I have a YouTube channel. Uh, you can uh, take benefit of it. I put all uh, my uh, lectures uh, there uh, and uh, you can watch them, uh, do subscription, do like. Uh, also, you can uh, see me on LinkedIn, uh, the same name, uh, Facebook also. Uh, I. Also, uh, always I put the videos, uh, put uh, something useful for you. Uh, also, uh, this is my email and mobile. Uh, here, uh, my positions, uh, this. This is a quick, uh, uh, quick look uh, at my profile. Uh, then uh, we will go uh, through our uh, lecture for today. We we'll start with agenda, then uh, introduction, well life cycle introduction to international well control forum and certificate with exam well control calculations well types completion uh, principle uh, uh, classification and types in addition to components wellhead and production stage gas lift system so it is very rich uh, today's lecture lecture is very rich so if you understand it you will understand a uh, uh, big uh, percentage uh, of uh, oil industry. 
So we'll go through them, a reservoir monitoring plan, well intervention principle, which is our main uh, objective, well intervention methods, and we will go through uh, three types of them, wire a slick line, a braided line, and ELA. Then wire line, a proper handling, rig up of wire line, standard wire line, and a tool string, uh, wire line barriers, and so on. We'll talk about uh, the tools, what uh, can we run in the well, uh, common applications of slick line, wire line operations before uh, moving coil tubing, fishing operations. This is very important and interesting uh, operations. So if you uh, can start uh, start understanding the principles of the wire line first, then you will see the fishing is very interesting subject. So uh, after that, I will uh, discuss a study case for slick line fishing, uh, then a braided line uses advantages and disadvantages, line applications, uh, which has uh, three main uh, applications, uh, perforation, logging, and water shuttle. For logging, we have open hole logs and cased hole logs. Uh, we will take an example of logging, which is noise log, uh, pressure control equipment for only three. These are three uh, types of uh, well intervention, slick line, braided line, and E-line. Uh, wire line barrier, we will uh, uh, talk about uh, the principle of barrier uh, and what types of barriers, uh, primary, secondary, and tertiary. Uh, we will take a case study for stack cable uh, or tools. Uh, at the end, uh, we'll take the personal protective equipment and question and answers. I put uh, uh, about six slides or about 20, 15 to 20 uh, questions and answers uh, that come in the IWCF exam. So if you uh, know the principle, uh, the lecture uh, and the aim of the lecture, then you will answer these questions very easily. After that, uh, I am guarantee that you will uh, take the uh, IWCF uh, very easily. So after you uh, graduate from the university, you have to go to the uh, field or, or to the offices. Uh, some companies, uh, they refuse to uh, in, uh, hire you uh, unless you have this certificate. So many companies, uh, refuse to uh, hire you unless you have it. So you have to study uh, very well uh, and uh, you uh, are willing, uh, I think, uh, with uh, your study in the university and you are willing to uh, take uh, extra. Now I give you, uh, you can consider it extra because you have workload and this workload, uh, it is, uh, this is additional. So when you have free time, then you can take uh, this and watch it. Uh, even if you uh, are not here now, uh, after that, we will put it on the uh, YouTube and you, uh, you can uh, watch it uh, from time to time. Uh, today, you can watch uh, 30 minutes, tomorrow 30 minutes, and so on. So, and you can repeat it uh, day by day. So, and you can take notes, you can uh, write, you can uh, uh, watch the videos, all of these, uh, at the end, uh, your knowledge should be high uh, because uh, there is a, a huge competition uh, with others. Uh, and the companies cannot take all graduates uh, from the university. So if, for example, if 100 uh, engineers are uh, graduated uh, this year, uh, the 150 uh, uh, engineers will find uh, a job this year. And maybe next year, 25 uh, engineers will find a job uh, the next year. Then the last year. So why uh, don't you find uh, a job uh, quickly? If you build yourself, if you build uh, your knowledge, I am guaranteed that you will uh, gain and uh, it is all uh, related to money. So uh, money, uh, time is money. Uh, and uh, money is time. Uh, the, where uh, does uh, this uh, money come? Uh, it comes from the knowledge. Uh, we are engineers, so we have to improve uh, our knowledge and uh, the way of thinking. So if you don't uh, do that, you will miss your opportunity uh, to uh, be the first uh, to join 
the oil companies. Uh, I am talking worldwide. It may be in Iraq, it may be in uh, uh, Emirates, uh, in Qatar, everywhere. So if you have your mind and your knowledge, I am sure that you will find uh, your uh, excellent and, and very good opportunity. Uh, let's move on to uh, our introduction uh, and oil well. What is oil well? Oil well is any bearing, uh, is uh, any boring uh, through the earth uh, surface that is designed to find uh, and acquire liquid hydrocarbons. We have uh, hydrocarbons below the surface uh, level by 3,000 uh, meters or 10,000 feet. So how can we uh, retrieve it? How can we uh, uh, extract it from the downhole? We have to drill a well. This well is, you, is called oil well or gas well or water well for water injector or whatever. So it is a hole. Uh, we drill, then run uh, casing. Then behind the casing, we uh, do cement. Uh, surface uh, stage, then intermediate stage, then production stage, then run the completion. All of these, uh, we have to do them uh, and, uh, and work on the well uh, very uh, safely and uh, uh, avoid any uh, incident uh, that uh, could uh, affect uh, on the company's uh, reputation. Uh, it can affect on the uh, uh, financial issues, uh, on the uh, human uh, uh, lives, uh, on the equipment, uh, on uh, everything. So uh, we have to take care. We are working in a very dangerous environment. Uh, if you don't know the principles and procedures to work, uh, you will uh, do mistakes. You, you may uh, lose uh, the lives uh, of others uh, or may uh, lose your job at the end. So. Uh, it is not easy to work. Uh, we have two uh, types uh, of wells. We have exploratory well and the production well. Uh, for exploratory well, uh, we, uh, pro, uh, we drill a well, uh, one or two or three wells in an area uh, that is not discovered before. This is uh, called uh, exploration and drilling. Uh, uh, it depends on the seismic data uh, or satellite survey. Uh, then when we uh, discover the oil and do our uh, studies, our calculations, how much initial oil in a place, uh, what is there, oil, gas, uh, uh, water, uh, condensate, all of these. So after that, we start to extend our drilling. We may drill uh, 100 wells. Uh, you have uh, in Iraq a huge uh, uh, fields also. Uh, like uh, Korna uh, field, uh, you have, uh, what else? Uh, uh, I, uh, 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 in Karkuk also, it is from the biggest uh, fields in the world. Uh, also many fields uh, that can uh, be uh, developed. So after exploration, you have to develop uh, this field and uh, drill uh, extra more uh, wells uh, that uh, uh, you can uh, retrieve uh, or produce uh, this oil and gas uh, during, for example, 30 or 40 or 50 years plus minus. Uh, in this case, uh, you are uh, working uh, professionally and uh, you uh, plan uh, uh, production for each well. Wireline, wireline history, today we will talk about wireline. Wireline, uh, it, it has a uh, slick line, braided line and uh, electric line. Uh, I think most of you uh, have seen uh, this wireline track for Slumbergia, but we don't know when did it start. Mechanical slick line was formerly known as a measuring line. It was in 1927. Uh, two French bro brothers uh, from uh, Slumbergia family uh, they were they are considered uh, as the inventors of electric uh, logging in 1927 this one about nine uh, or 92 years uh, ago 94 years ago this like this uh, this uh, wire wireline unit was but uh, today's uh, wireline unit 
it is like this. So a huge difference uh, during uh, 100 or 90 years. Here is the uh, wireline uh, unit. Uh, we have the Christmas tree. We will, uh, we talked about this one, how to drill it. Uh, then we, at the surface, we installed the, the Christmas tree, lower master valve, upper master valve, uh, flowing valve, uh, killing valve, swab valve. And here we have uh, these uh, riser, uh, wireline BOP. Uh, we have TPs. Uh, this is a lubricator and a stuffing box. So this is the rig up for slick line. Wire line uh, rig up, uh, this is a standard. And here we have wire line unit. Here we have the hay bully. Uh, here we have also the wheel of the uh, stuffing box. And the wire line is run in the hole and pulled out of the hole. And here we have the power bar. We'll talk about uh, these in detail, uh, one by one, piece by piece, operation by operation. Uh, here we have subsurface safety valve for uh, safety. Uh, and uh, here we have a hydraulic control panel to operate the uh, BOP, which is the secondary barrier. Here we have uh, three barriers, primary barrier, which is stuffing box, secondary barrier, which is BOP, and the tertiary barrier, which is upper master valve, uh, that uh, can cut the wire in case of the primary and uh, uh, secondary uh, barriers uh, have failed. Uh, here, uh, if we uh, have a, a quick look at the uh, well life cycle, uh, we will start uh, with the drilling of the well then run completion, I mentioned that for you, then production, this production may extend 20, 30 years, plus minus, then intervention, we will talk about this one, intervention today. Uh, then uh, the well uh, is not, when it is not producing anything, it will be plugged and abandoned. Uh, or in different words, we can say the drilling is designed, completion is construct, or production, so these are similar to these words, design, then construct, then operate, then maintain, maintain means intervention, then abandon. Here, you see, uh, with construction, it includes drilling and completion, then production, then maintenance. We have this maintenance, uh, well intervention. Well intervention, we have uh, nine methods. Today, we will study uh, three methods of them. So work over uh, is uh, part of uh, the well intervention methods and the lifetime extension. We can extend the lifetime of the well as maximum as we can. Then plug and abandon. Uh, here, I will uh, just uh, uh, tell you uh, something about uh, the uh, well control. Uh, this certificate, I deliver courses for it. Uh, so uh, in the future, uh, you are mandatory to get this, this, this certificate if you want to uh, work. We have two types, a drilling and well intervention. I will uh, tell you about well intervention. You have to study uh, these uh, two subjects are mandatory, completion equipment and completion operation. Then if you want to work wireline, operator or supervisor, you have to uh, do exam with wireline. So this one plus two are mandatory. This is optional. If you want to work in cold tubing, this is optional also. So it will be, if you want only cold tubing, then you, you will do exam, this one, this one, and this one. If you want a wireline cold tubing, you will do four exams. Uh, for snubbing, uh, it is hydraulic work of our, it is rarely used. In 1992, uh, it was used, yes, but uh, during uh, the last 20 years, uh, the uh, number of snubbing units, hydraulic workovers uh, have, uh, this number has uh, dropped and uh, today uh, it is uh, used only, I think, in Algeria, uh, in our region. Uh, so we have uh, four levels, uh, familiarization or introduction, uh, this is, uh, this uh, level two, uh, this you can do it by yourself. 
uh, if you want, uh, you can uh, watch uh, my uh, lecture on YouTube uh, about uh, well intervention. Uh, if you write well intervention, uh, well uh, control, uh, you will see uh, the all details. Uh, how can you get this level one uh, uh, for uh, this IWC? Uh, it is a free. You don't pay anything. Uh, just you do uh, the exam by yourself, uh, and you will take. Uh, from Scotland, they uh, send you the certificate. After that, you will be ready to move to the second level, which is level two, then level three for operators, then level uh, four. Uh, we will uh, talk uh, now about uh, wireline operations. Let us uh, move uh, this video. Like many operations in the oil and gas service industry, wireline operations is a 24 hour a day job. Crews may work long hours in any type of weather to respond to customer needs. Wireline operations usually involve lowering and retrieving specialized equipment into the well, some for testing and some for plugging off zones in the well. Here, a three man crew from Long Car Services shows us how a slick wireline is set up. This First, is by installing the blow up preventer on top of the well. This is the wicker. This is the stick line. Then, the wireline equipment is assembled on the ground and the wire is threaded. Some can hold over 2,000 pounds and reach depths of 30,000 feet. After the string is together, a crane lifts the unit into place where it's secured to the top of the wellhead. You see, this is the rig of, uh, of the equipment. Once the pressure is blown, the wellhead is open and the wire line is run into the well. At this site near Caroline, they're actually using slick wire line to retrieve tools that have become stuck deep inside the well during another company's service work. Slick wireline operators are sometimes part detective and part fisherman since they have to figure out how to grab something they cannot see nearly three kilometers below the surface of the earth. They're resourceful people who can think on their feet and they're a vital part of the petroleum services industry. So uh, this is a uh just to give you uh, to give you an idea uh, about uh, the uh, rig up of the wire line uh, you saw uh, each part we'll talk about uh, it in detail uh, this one the calculation will control calculations uh, you have to memorize it uh, always i deliver it and uh, i ask uh, the attendees just to memorize it uh, as if uh, your name it is very easy it is very uh, simple. Uh, you can memori memorize it uh, over uh, your uh, lifetime. So uh, it is very easy. We can uh, uh, do the hydrostatic pressure equals to vertical depth times density times constant. Uh, also, all of these, if you have any question, uh, you can ask about it. Bottom hole pressure equals uh, hydrostatic pressure plus closed in tubing head pressure, and so on. So all of these uh, also specific gravity, pressure gradient, uh, time to pump, uh, and uh, this one. Uh, so it is uh, easy and you can uh, have a look at it and memorize it. Uh, now we can uh, move to the uh, types of the ways. We talked about this one, uh, exploration uh, uh, or production uh, for the type of the well. 
Also, we have uh, as per uh, geometry of the well, uh, it may be vertical, uh, horizontal, or uh, deviated. I will uh, I will show you now uh, the well schematic of each type of this one. Uh, well types, uh, as per the production phase, uh, we may uh, pro uh, drill a well to produce uh, uh, an oil. Uh, it will be uh, called oil producer. If we want to produce gas, it will be gas producer. If we want to uh, inject water, it will be water injector or gas injector or water alternative gas injector, maybe water supply oil, water disposal oil. So each type uh, has its own uh, function and we use it uh, for a special uh, uh, function. Uh, here the completion, uh, after doing the well, we run the completion and uh, we want to uh, produce maybe from different zones. Uh, we isolate the uh, uh, upper uh, two zones and produce from the lower one uh, or uh, produce from the uh, middle zone and isolate the upper and lower and so on. So you have a strategy uh, to uh, produce from this well uh, and uh, you need the completion to be uh, suitable uh, for this one. Uh, sometimes you run a single completion, sometimes you run a dual completion, uh, sometimes you, you run uh, a single selective, single uh, completion. So we, I will show you uh, these ones. We will talk about also completion uh, components and accessories that are uh, used uh, due, uh, in each uh, completion. You see, uh, we have uh, these types. Uh, this is uh, type uh, open hole completion. Uh, it is not cased here, not cemented, not perforated. The second one uh, is uh, cased, hole, uh, cased hole and perforated, this one. Uh, open hole completion, this one. Cased uh, perforated completion, this one. Here, uh, multi-zone uh, completion, this one, single, uh, this is, or uh, dual. Dual, we have short string, we produce from this zone. This one, we have sliding side door here, and we produce from lower zone. So long string, this is called long string, and this is called short string. Uh, here, uh, we have uh, the completion types, single completion, single selective completion. I will see, I will show you now uh, these types. Uh, and dual completion, dual selective completion. Look at it here, please. Single vertical completion, this one, single vertical. Here, uh, single selective completion. We may produce from this, this, this. So three zones. We uh, isolate this one, this one, and produce from here only. Or from all of them, or from two or from the upper and close the uh, middle and lower, as per the uh, production strategy uh, over uh, 30 years or 20 years. Uh, here we have a dual injector. Uh, we, produce, we inject here uh, gas and uh, water. Uh, one uh, to uh, inject the water uh, zone, one completion and the other completion is to inject gas. Uh, here we have a, a single slim hole. We don't have uh, same as here. You see here we have a packer, SSD, a gas lift, uh, mandrel, uh, subsurface safety valve, all, all of these. Here when we have uh, this uh, formation uh, that we don't want to uh, put uh, uh, any uh, obstruction in front of the hydrocarbons to be produced to the surface, in this case, we put it uh, like this, as if uh, a pipe, just pipe. Uh, in this case, uh, we uh, produce from the well. Uh, in this case, we use it when uh, the uh, reservoir pressure is not too high. So we know what is uh, here. Uh, and uh, in this case, uh, we uh, make the uh, well produce uh, very easily. Uh, here uh, we have a single uh, completion. Uh, this is vertical, single selective, vertical. The other type is horizontal. You see, we drill to here, then we open a window, 
in the reservoir, then we may drill 600 feet or 1000 feet or more plus minus. Here also we produce, but vertically. We have also uh, 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 deviated, you see, it could be 70 degrees. Now 90 degrees, it could be 70 degrees like this, or it could be like this. So deviated between them. Here is the uh, typical uh, completion that is uh, run in the well from the uh, top, which is a tubing hanger, a tubing hanger that uh, uh, holds the weight of the completion uh, till the wireline entry guide. Uh, we can uh, see uh, here the wellhead, the Christmas tree, uh, the Christmas tree uh, after that the tubing uh, head is full here. Uh, then uh, we have the, the completion we have subsurf safety valve, you see it, downhole safety valve. We have a side pocket mandrel. Uh, we have also sliding sleeves, we will talk about them. I will give you an idea, a short, uh, uh, short description about each one, because uh, if I tell you, we set the plug in the nipple, you tell me what is this nipple? I don't hear about it, explain about it uh, to me. So I will give you in advance, but not in detail, we will go into details uh, for our uh, subject, which is uh, the uh, uh, well intervention and wireline. Uh, landing nipples, also we set the plug uh, here in the landing nipple, you see it here and here. Uh, also packers, uh, packer will uh, isolate the casing uh, from the uh, reservoir. Uh, because if you keep the casing uh, is exposed uh, to the well pressure and temperature uh, with to corrosion to all of these, uh, then it will be uh, corroded, eroded, damaged. While if you uh, lose your uh, completion, uh, if it is damaged or cut or uh, pinhole or plugged uh, uh, completely, then you can move work over. It is a type of uh, well intervention methods, you can run, uh, kill the well and pull the completion, run another completion and finish. It, it is very easy and cheap, not that uh, expensive. If you want to drill a new well, the cost will be more than 10 times. Then uh, perforated pop joint, you see it here. We'll talk about them here also uh, in details. Uh, it may be uh, more clear, more details. Uh, this is from bottom, this is where the entry guide, this, this one, and to the wellhead. The previous one is from the top, from the wellhead to the bottom. So, but the uh, same uh, components, uh, you can see them. Tubing hanger, as I told you, when we run the completion, we hang uh, this uh, tubing uh, using the tubing hanger. Uh, and here we have tie down bolts, uh, we can uh, isolate also the tubing from the annulus. So uh, the annulus uh, is isolated and no, uh, uh, no hydrocarbons uh, will uh, be uh, getting into the annulus for pressure or temperature. Uh, here subsurface safety valve, uh, when uh, we have uh, any uh, emergency or any uh, unplanned uh, issues like fire, like explosion, uh, like this, uh, then the uh, subsurface safety valve will be uh, closed automatically. Uh, there is ESD system and it is uh, connected to the uh, surface safety valve, uh, which is uh, upper master valve hydraulic actuated uh, and uh, subsurface safety valve. Uh, when we have any problem, fire, uh, like explosion like this, uh, then uh, it will be closed and shut the well automatically uh, without uh, causing any problem. So this is caused, caused uh, we call it subsurface safety valve. We have two types, uh, self-controlled and subsurface controlled. Uh, we, with wireline, we have to check uh, this uh, subsurface safety valve. Uh, it could be wireline retrievable or tubing retrievable. Uh, for subsurface safety valve, we have two types also ambient pressure and differential pressure. This is run with wireline. This uh, tubing retrievable uh, safety valve is run with the tubing with completion and the other one, wireline retrievable subsurface safety valve is run with wireline. We have to do 
maintenance for this subsurface safety valve wireline every uh, 12 to 24 months. While for uh, tubing retrievable, uh, subsurface safety valve, we uh, don't do it. We uh, just uh, exercise open and close the subsurface safety valve. Uh, it may uh, stay in the hole uh, for 20 years or 30 years. Uh, as if uh, as it is working, no problem. Uh, this is the dam hole safety valve. Uh, we uh, talked about wireline retrieval and tubing retrieval. You see it here. We have a flapper, and this flapper uh, is uh, pushed down. Uh, you see, uh, it uh, can uh, open like this. This is from up to down. So the flapper, when the fluid is uh, pushing, uh, 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 it, the fluid is coming from here to up. So the flow tube is pushing this flapper. As it is open, the well will flow. You see, this is the flapper is open. This is the flapper, if you see it. I see it, red one. It is open, this one is open. Flapper is open, safety valve is open. The flapper is closed like this. The safety valve is closed. And this is the uh, flapper. We call it downhole safety valve, uh, self control subsurface safety valve, self safety valve, tubing retrieval. So, different names for the same uh, item of the completion or accessory. Uh, production tubing, when we uh, run the completion, this is the main item uh, which is called the tubing. It may be two and three eight inch, uh, two and seven eight inch, uh, three and a half inch, four and a half inch, five inch. Uh, five inch and more, it is called then casing. Uh, below five inch, uh, it is called uh, completion or tubing. And we have couplings uh, between them. You see, this is J55, uh, the green one. Uh, the red one is uh, C75. Each one has different color. So there is a black one, there is a gray. There. So, uh, uh, that those uh, the colors are uh, higher grades. Uh, this tubing may be damaged, you see, uh, this damage, it is exploded, or uh, the, there is a pressure from inside uh, very much than the outside. In this case, uh, there is a rupture in the tubing here, or mechanical damage. Uh, the packer, uh, we talked about the packer, it isolates uh, the a tubing from the casing, and, and uh, uh, this uh, these fluids can be produced to the surface without contacting uh, with the casing. Uh, in this case, the casing will stay in the well forever without any damage because the fluid uh, from the well uh, it has high pressure, high temperature, CO2, uh, H2S. Uh, all of these we may also do stimu acid stimulation. So if the acid is contacting with the uh, casing, what will happen? Uh, the casing will be damaged. And in this case, uh, we uh, will be in trouble and uh, we will uh, lose our well and drill another well. Here landing nipples, where if we want to uh, isolate uh, any zone, uh, we can uh, uh, set a plug in this one and we have three types uh, of nipples, no-go nipples, selective nipple, and uh, safety valve nipple. Uh, circulation devices, we have two types, sliding side door and side pocket mandrel. We can see them, this is side pocket mandrel, uh, this is a sliding side door, this one, SSD. All of these, we have <clears throat> uh, internal sleeve, you see it here. This sleeve uh, has uh, holes. Uh, when these holes uh, are opposite, opposite to these holes, like this case, uh, then the sliding side door will be open. If uh, the, the holes are not uh, opposite to each other, like this one, then the SSD will be closed. In this case, when it is open, we can do circulation from the annulus to the tubing or from the tubing to the annulus. You see it, it is called circulation device. The other type is called a uh, side pocket mandrel. Also, it is uh, run with the completion. Uh, we uh, uh, set here either circulation valve or 
یاز لیفت وال اور دمی وال اور کیمیکل انجیکشن وال اور دم کل وال وی ہیو ڈیفرنٹ ڈیفرنٹ ٹائپس آف گاز لیفٹ وال سو اف وی وی ول ٹاک اباؤٹ گاز لیفٹ سسٹم بٹ وی یو ہیو ٹو ٹیک این آئیڈیا اباؤٹ وٹ از دس سائڈ پوکیٹ ماندر وٹ از دس گاز لیفٹ وال Uh, we set it and pull it uh, using uh, a tool uh, with wire line. It is called kickover tool. This one, it has two series, uh, OM, one, two, three, four, five, and uh, OK, one, two, three, four, five. So two series. Uh, and the size is uh, uh, one inch and one and a half inch of these valves. Uh, but it, now you take an idea about them. In the future, uh, you will know Uh, what I am talking about. Uh, if we expect that uh, there is a turbulent flow uh, from the well, uh, we have two types uh, of a flow. You know them, uh, laminar and turbulent. Laminar like this, like a line. Turbulent, it will be like this. In this case, turbulent, what will cause to the completion, to the tubing, it will make uh, erosion for it. This erosion, how can we protect it? For example, if you have landing nipple, this one, then you have to uh, install a flow coupling upstream of it and downstream of it. Otherwise, if you have uh, low uh, turbulent, turbulence, in this case, you install just downstream. This is called downstream. Downstream after the landing nipple or the completion accessory uh, component. So this is called uh, downstream and this is called upstream. So flow coupling upstream and flow coupling downstream. This is called uh, blast joint. Uh, for uh, the coupling, uh, it is uh, used just to reduce the erosion for the completion accessories. And it has a same OD of the completion, uh, but the ID is less. Why? Because there is wall thickness. Uh, more than the wall thickness of the tubing. In this case, uh, as it is eroded, it will not affect because we have extra wall thickness of this uh, uh, flow coupling. Uh, also, when we uh, expect that there will be uh, erosion from the outside, if we have this perforation, you see it, and we have to produce from it to uh, from the reservoir to here, we have SSD here or here SSD. So in this case, the flow will hit, uh, or hydrocarbons will hit uh, this area in the completion. If it is not uh, uh, holding uh, this erosion, it will be uh, eroded and uh, the completion in this case will be uh, replaced. So what uh, shall we do? We have to install, this is called uh, blast joint. It has the same ID of the, Uh, completion, but the OD is uh, bigger because the erosion is expected from the outside, not from the inside. Low coupling from the inside, uh, blast joint from the outside. In this case, what will happen? We uh, protect uh, this area. It could be 30 feet, uh, 50 feet maximum. So uh, in this case, uh, as uh, erosion Uh, is available, so uh, we will keep our completion uh, in a healthy condition. Flow coupling, uh, polished bore receptacle. Uh, sometimes we produce uh, uh, hot fluids, uh, hydrocarbons. Uh, it uh, make uh, the, uh, it will make the completion to expand. So when you uh, heat up the completion, it is a metal. What will happen? This uh, completion. Uh, length will increase. If it increases, there should be something here to contain uh, this uh, uh, increase uh, or excess uh, length of the completion. You, we use it, uh, polished ball receptacle. Uh, here we have a male and female. Uh, we can uh, seal on the outside of it and here seal on the inside of it. Uh, it moves uh, like this inside it move up and down, but there should be, you see it like this. It should be like this within uh, upstroke and downstroke, but not like this. If it is like this, it will get out of the uh, female. In this case, uh, we need work over. 
And if it uh, goes too much inside, what will happen? Uh, there will be uh, onset of the packer. There will be more pressure on the packer. It will onset. In this case, we have to calculate it. The space out should be uh, as uh, reasonable as possible. Uh, it could be uh, 20 feet. We could uh, put it on the middle stroke or uh, uh, low, uh, bottom stroke or upper stroke. Upper stroke, uh, we, if we expect a high temperature uh, in the lower stroke, if we expect uh, low temperature, if we inject uh, cold water, in this case, the metal of the tubing will uh, shrink, will contract. If it contracts, what will happen? Uh, this uh, piece, you see it, will move up, but within a limit, 20 or 30 feet, not more than that. Uh, so we can continue, contain this uh, piece inside, the main inside here, uh, and uh, move. Uh, we have another type, uh, tubing silver receptacle, you see, uh, the uh, male, uh, the, uh, the piece with the completion is uh, called female, this one, uh, while uh, the, with the uh, packer, it is called male, this one. So different designs, but I explained to you uh, the uh, main function of these uh, tools. Wireline entry guide, when we uh, run wireline tool uh, or cold tubing, we have to retrieve it uh, easily without cutting uh, the wire line. Uh, we have two types, uh, a bell guide, this one, and the mule shoe. Uh, well head also, you see it, Christmas tree. We have uh, these valves, uh, API planes. We connect them uh, to each other. Uh, and we have uh, this type, uh, monobore, uh, monobore uh, from uh, well head or Christmas tree. This is conventional. And here, this we have the whole well head. Uh, this is the uh, upper, uh, the surface casing, uh, intermediate casing, and production casing. And this is the casing head uh, spool. You see, this is the monobore Christmas tree. And this one, they are working. A production stage. Uh, this uh, this is the more Im most important uh, stage in the well life cycle. We produce the well uh, for 20 years or 30 years or 10 years as we uh, want uh, from uh, our target. Uh, here, a uh, gas lift valve. Uh, we uh, uh, inject uh, gas from the annulus uh, and produce uh, the well uh, from the tube. You see it from this one. In this case, uh, why do we use it? Because the well is not producing naturally. If it doesn't produce naturally, what will happen? The well will uh, quit. It will not produce. So we inject gas from here, then produce, and then uh, the gas will move here and uh, up, then move here up, and uh, there will be uh, offloading of the reservoir. You see, this is. Uh, gas injection, uh, it will uh, reduce the hydrostatic head uh, on the reservoir and it will uh, make the production easy. Uh, here, the gas lift valve, uh, dummy valve, and gas lift valve. We have five types of the uh, gas lift valves. Uh, here, we put it in the side pocket mandrel, this one. Uh, reservoir monitoring, we do uh, reservoir pressure. Uh, monitoring uh, for uh, the reservoir uh, over the life uh, cycle of the well. Uh, we have different types uh, of the surveys, uh, bottom hole closed in a pressure, bottom hole flowing pressure. Uh, these, uh, this is for uh, wood oil producer and uh, water uh, injector. This is uh, bottom hole flowing pressure for oil producer. This is a pressure for a survey for water injector. Uh, PBU for uh, oil producer, interference tests for both, integrity tests for always, capacity tests for oil producer, uh, modified isochronal tests for gas wells. Uh, this we can interpret it and how much is the uh, reservoir pressure. Uh, here, modified isochronal test. Uh, this is actual survey and the result is this. Uh, we can uh, produce at uh, 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 gas well at 25% uh, of maximum production 
uh, then close it, then uh, 50%, then close it, then 75%, then uh, close it, then uh, open at 100% of production capacity, then close it. So we have time, 20, 12, uh, uh, 12 hours uh, flowing, then 12 hours uh, shutting. Uh, then 12 hours, 12 hours, 12 hours, 12 hours here, we produce uh, this at maximum production uh, for 24 hours and close it for 48 hours. This is called modified isochronal test for gas wells. Uh, we may, uh, if we uh, don't want to close the well, if we have here this well, active well, we, if we close it uh, to do a survey, what will happen? The well will quit. It has high water top. In this case, what can we do? We have to avoid closing it. We have a nearby well. Uh, this well uh, uh, is uh, far uh, 300 meters uh, away from this well. So, but they are producing from the same reservoir. In this case, we can take the same reservoir pressure here and here. You see, uh, this is called observer well or observation well. And this well can be uh, producing, continue producing. But in the meantime, we can uh, measure uh, the uh, reservoir pressure. Well intervention. Now, uh, all of these, what we talked about was an introduction. We, uh, uh, in well intervention, it is the fourth uh, stage of the well life cycle. If you remember just now, we mentioned it. So what are the main uh, operations that are uh, carried out on the well during well intervention operations? We have nine uh, operations uh, here. Uh, I uh, give you just uh, uh, a quick uh, review. Uh, in the next slide, I will uh, talk uh, uh, in more detail. Uh, we have a wireline. It was uh, invented uh, in 1927, and it has uh, three types, a slick line, braided line, and electric line. Uh, then uh, we have a new technology called electric line tractor. This is used in uh, high deviated wells and uh, horizontal wells. Uh, cold tubing, uh, it was invented in 1962, hydro over a uh, long time ago, but now it is rarely used uh, and work over. This is the summary. But if we go into details, uh, we will find uh, nine, uh, nine operations. Uh, we start uh, from uh, pumping. Pumping is the simplest uh, form of intervention. If we want to uh, bump uh, corrosion inhibitor, we bump uh, diesel, we bump uh, fresh water into the well, we can bullhead or uh, uh, do uh, killing of the well, we do pumping. Or the rig up on the killing valve uh, and uh, pump uh, from uh, this well. Uh, then uh, we'll head uh, and the Christmas tree maintenance. Uh, from time to time, we have PM maintenance, we call it. Periodically maintenance uh, for uh, subsurface valve. Sometimes uh, we have a plan to test it degrees every six months or every year. Uh, we have uh, subsurface valve, upper master valve, uh, uh, surface uh, equipment, all of these, killing valve, swab valve, all of these uh, we have uh, to do uh, um, maintenance for them. Uh, in this case, uh, this is called a, a well intervention uh, method. The third type uh, is a slick line uh, that we will uh, talk about it. Uh, uh, this uh, slick line uh, operation uh, is uh, uh, slick line operation and may be used uh, for uh, fishing, gauge cutter, uh, setting and retrieving uh, plugs, deploying uh, or moving wireline uh, retrievable valves or and memory logging. It is very uh, big subject. Uh, you cannot imagine any well uh, in our oil industry uh, except it needs uh, this slick line. So it is 100% mandatory in each well. Uh, you will see now uh, what we are talking about. Uh, the fourth uh, type of well intervention will be uh, braided line. Uh, this braided line uh, is used in two, uh, 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 in two cases. 
if we want to uh, fish uh, the stuck uh, tourist string, sometimes we uh, get the stuck uh, tourist string and wireline. Uh, in this case, what will happen? Uh, the maximum uh, pulling tension for a stick line, say 2,000 pounds, but this one, it may uh, take to uh, 10,000 pounds. So in this case, this is uh, used for fishing. Also used for swabbing. If there is a, a dead well, if you want to produce the well without uh, this uh, uh, nitrogen lifting or cold tubing or like this, if you want, you are uh, sure that the well will produce uh, by swabbing, swabbing like uh, uh, pulling. You put a tool inside the tubing, a very big tool, and you uh, pull it very fast. In this uh, pulling, uh, you, uh, the well will produce and uh, the uh, uh, killing fluid in the well uh, will be uh, produced out. Uh, cold tubing, uh, also, uh, if uh, you have a vertical uh, horizontal well, the wire line will not uh, go to it. Uh, if you have a deviated well more than 70 degrees, uh, then the wire line will not work in it. Uh, uh, any uh, 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 any uh, case like this one, uh, you need the uh, cold tubing. If you need uh, to pump uh, acid uh, to the reservoir, uh, especially uh, uh, directly to the reservoir, uh, the wire line cannot be used. Uh, what will happen here? You have to run uh, cold tubing. Uh, and uh, this cold tubing, uh, you can pump uh, uh, in it uh, acid, uh, mud acid, uh, you can pump uh, kill fluid. Uh, so it has a very wide range, uh, this cold tubing. You can uh, uh, know more about it. Uh, I gave uh, a lecture about it. Uh, if you check it uh, in my YouTube channel, uh, it is very interesting subject. Uh, the snubbing, we talked about it. Uh, it is hydraulic work over. Uh, we, uh, you, when we need to uh, run uh, the uh, completion uh, tubing under pressure, the well has a pressure and we in, uh, force uh, this uh, completion uh, inside the uh, tubing. Uh, this is called uh, hydraulic uh, work over. Uh, it can uh, force the string uh, of pipe into the well against the well pressure. Uh, to perform uh, the required tasks. Uh, this is uh, more uh, complicated uh, than cold tubing. Cold tubing is uh, simple if it is compared with this one. Then uh, the work over. Uh, work over, uh, this is uh, costly. Uh, uh, screen. Uh, the, the screen, uh, you see it? Zulfaqar, uh, I see uh, resume. Mm. Resume sharing. Uh, yes, now it is okay. I press something. I don't know. I will uh, continue here. Yes. Uh, work over uh, here in some older uh, wells. Uh, we need uh, to change the reservoir from the uh, bottom to the uh, upper. In this case, we have to isolate it from cement or uh, set a bridge plug. And above it, we have to set uh, uh, three meters of cement. Uh, in this case, we have to uh, uh, perforate, we do stimulation, we run a new completion, uh, different design of the well. In this case, we need uh, work over. We have also here uh, the uh, subsea well intervention. This is uh, for offshore operation. Uh, it is more complicated, uh, more complex uh, than uh, onshore uh, operations. Here you see it, this is the uh, slick line. <clears throat> uh, this is the slick line. Uh, this is this one. This is the braided line, and this is uh, the electric line, this one. So slick line is this one. Uh, 
a braided line is this one, uh, and electric line is this one. Here we have conductor, uh, it can uh, send uh, the electric uh, power from the surface to the downhole uh, and do logging, do uh, uh, perforation, uh, do uh, set the bridge plug and uh, like this. For uh, this one braided line, uh, we can fish uh, the uh, stuck uh, wire line with two string or do swabbing. For this one stick line, we will do uh, about 20 uh, uh, functions. We will mention them uh, one by one. You see, these are the three. This is stick line. It has uh, two main uh, ODs, uh, 0 0.108, uh, 0.108, and 0.125. So two uh, OD. Uh, here, braided line, uh, the main uh, OD is uh, 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 seven uh, over 32 uh, or three over 16, you see? And we have two types, uh, conventional and uh, diform. Diform has uh, more strength uh, than conventional. And electric line, we have monoconductor and multiconductor. Here, this is a brass and we can send electrical signal. Uh, here, stick line, wire line, uh, we have this one. Uh, we uh, have uh, all these, uh, these two, 0.108 and 0.125. Uh, we have two types, uh, carbon steel and stainless steel. Carbon steel has a higher ten uh, tension pulling uh, than the stainless steel. The stainless steel uh, can work in uh, solar gas uh, wells, these ones. Uh, here also, it has uh, better, better than this because the uh, uh, OD is uh, bigger, 0.108 and 0.125 inch. This is the stick line. Uh, about the braided line, uh, we have uh, these, uh, the uh, two uh, sizes, nominal uh, seven over 32 or six over 32, which is a 316. We have two types, conventional and diform. Uh, breaking strain is this and breaking strain is this. You see, for, for die form, it has a bigger or higher uh, breaking strain. Uh, here, die form considerably stronger. Uh, the other uh, size is five uh, over 16 inch. Also, it has like this. We have electric line. Uh, this is the nominal diameter. And this one also, the types like this. Now uh, we can uh, go to uh, slick line. Uh, slick line, uh, we can use it for uh, fishing, uh, gauge cutter, setting and removing all of these. Slick line is very simple. Uh, it needs only two or three uh, persons to move, rig up, uh, run in hole, pressure test, do all of these uh, without any complexity. Uh, it, it has two nominal sizes, 0.108 and 0.125 inch OD, and it is made of uh, carbon steel or stainless steel. Carbon steel is uh, uh, stronger, but uh, it cannot uh, work with the H2S more than 30 ppm uh, part per million. If you have uh, uh, H2S percentage 30 ppm and more, in this case, you need stainless steel uh, that is uh, corrosion uh, resistant for H2S. Uh, in this case, uh, but uh, the uh, tensile strength uh, will be uh, less uh, than uh, that for carbon steel. And it can be run in uh, oil, oil, oil wells, oil uh, producer, uh, gas producer, water injector, uh, gas. So uh, all of these wells can be used uh, with this slick line uh, and uh, we can uh, run uh, wireline tools. So the wireline tools, uh, which uh, uh, slick line, uh, uh, it is called uh, a piano line uh, or solid line or measuring line. This is for slick line. So the same, this slick line, we call it piano line or solid line, wire line or uh, measuring line. And uh, we uh, have two types, as we mentioned, carbon steel and uh, stainless steel. Carbon steel uh, has advantages 
uh, that it has high uh, uh, tensile strength, as I told you now. Uh, it has low cost. If you go to stainless steel, it is expensive. Uh, we have also good ductility uh, and uh, can be used in sweet wells and uh, with H2S up to 30 ppm. After that, you need uh, to use stainless steel. This is stainless steel. Stainless steel is used in uh, sour wells, but it is weaker than carbon steel. Uh, there are different types of stainless steel. Uh, we have uh, SOPA 70, 75, and 80. Stainless steel is corrosion resistant. Uh, wire line, uh, proper uh, handling to reduce bending stresses. Uh, how can we uh, make uh, this uh, wire line uh, safe and we can utilize it uh, for a maximum uh, period of time? We have uh, to follow uh, the following steps. We have first to reduce the fatigue and bending stresses on the wire by making, making a proper connection with the rope socket uh, with the uh, wire line on the drum. The second one, we do a lubricate a lubricant uh, when, especially when we first run in hole, we uh, put the grease on the wire. So uh, its movement across, across the uh, stuffing box uh, will be uh, uh, easy and simple to avoid and reduce the friction. Uh, we can, from time to time, uh, every uh, time we can cut uh, 50 uh, feet uh, of wire line uh, and make a new uh, rope socket. Also, uh, when jarring operation, uh, it is advised to uh, stop uh, for short time because this wire will heat up. If it heats up, it the, it will be broken easily after that. So we stop for uh, 20 or 30 minutes, uh, make it cool down. After that, we continue. Uh, we may need also to move the wireline truck. If we do jar up, jar up, jar up for 30 minutes. In this case, the same area, jar, uh, pull out, jar, jar up, uh, down, then jar up, down, then jar up, or the opposite. In this case, what will happen? There will be weak point in this area. Uh, if we cannot, we, if we latch the plug and we cannot uh, move up or down, what will happen? There will be weak point. In this case, we can move the wire line, a track uh, maybe uh, two or three meters uh, right or left. In this case, uh, we uh, change the weak point of the wire line. Also, uh, spooling of the wire, uh, it comes uh, on a big drum. When we want to spool it on the uh, drum of the wireline uh, unit, uh, we spool it uh, in this uh, way. This is the correct, the, uh, correct this is uh, incorrect. Uh, here also, uh, avoid kinking of the wireline uh, by uh, uh, different ways uh, you can uh, uh, to uh, move the wireline uh, to the string in this way, this way, or uh, do some uh, uh, rig up uh, like this, uh, it will uh, make weak point in the wire. Also avoid the wire from contacting with uh, metal. Uh, the uh, wireline is contacting with the uh, uh, stuffing box uh, packing only. This is rubber. So uh, in this case, it should be uh, suitable, this packing. Uh, and uh, it will be uh, uh, greased and uh, there will be low return. And uh, uh, there will be no weak point here. Stuffing box, hey, bully also, uh, this is the stuffing box uh, where the wire line is coming from uh, uh, down, then up, uh, then down. Uh, here it will uh, uh, go to here. This is the hey, bully. Uh, should be uh, having uh, OD uh, in uh, two uh, cases, if we have slick line, uh, this OD, uh, it should be uh, 20, 120 times uh, of the wire line OD. Uh, if we have a braided line, uh, we should uh, have uh, the OD uh, of this uh, sheave or hay bully. Uh, we can uh, use it uh, 64 times uh, braided line OD. This is a uh, rod. We, uh, we talk about wireline rig up. We see it or not. 
This is for Al Mansouri, different regard. It is interesting. Let's watch it. This is in Abu Dhabi, I think. They do safety meeting, then Origa. This is the BOP. BOP. This is uh, the stuffing box and the hybrid. Riser. They do pressure test. And this is chart. Lubricator sections, quick union. This is the heavily stuffing box, rope socket. This is the rope socket. I work with, with this screw, I think. Open the swap bar. Take the zero, then run in hole. This is wireline operator. This is the drum. Hey, bully. This is on the rig counter of the wireline. Run in hole. Martin Decker, for weight, run in hole. Here is the safety valve, so self safety valve stop, then latch, pull out of hole. He's retrieving the sub self safety valve. Uh, here is gauge cutter first, just to locate the safety valve. I'm on sorry. Uh, the video is finished. I think uh, it is. Uh, 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 it is uh, uh, interesting. <laughs> Let's move on to the next slide. Yes. Uh, now uh, we can uh, move to the advantages of using wireline uh, over culture. Uh, wireline is easy to move and transport uh, within uh, one hour. Uh, they can move uh, real pressure test and start running hard. Uh, two or three persons, you saw them, three persons can do all of this. And uh, safely and very easily. Uh, also the cost, uh, it has a very low cost. Uh, the crew member, cold tubing uh, needs maybe uh, seven, uh, or sometimes uh, 10 or more uh, uh, persons to uh, operate the package, while here two or three persons only. The disadvantages of wireline over co tubing uh, here uh, we have uh, low yield strength uh, if compared with co tubing. Uh, the maximum tension that you can apply here may be 2,000 pounds, while with co tubing you, you may apply 40,000 pounds or 50,000 pounds. So, big difference. Uh, cannot uh, do rotation uh, using wireline. With wireline, you cannot do rotation or do pumping through it. While with co tubing, you can do that. Also, cannot do circulation using wireline. Uh, the other uh, issue uh, you cannot uh, work in high deviated ways more and uh, horizontal ways. High deviated ways more than 70 degrees and uh, horizontal ways also. So this is the, the rig up. Uh, we have, uh, you see, we'll talk it. Uh, 
uh, we have uh, from the drum here to the measuring device, then hey bully, then uh, stuffing box, uh, then uh, lubricator, then BOP, then uh, we run uh, uh, through the Christmas tree to the web. Uh, we have here uh, uh, bending uh, events, uh, one uh, here, then uh, two before the measuring device, three, uh, then hey bully, uh, four, five, then the stuffing box, uh, six, seven. So uh, these, uh, we uh, call them uh, bending events. So uh, seven uh, in run in hold and seven in uh, pull out of hold. So 14, the number. Bending cycles, uh, we have uh, these ones, we mentioned them. Uh, so uh, the same events uh, when putting wire line out of the hole. So seven run in hole during run in hole and seven uh, during pull out of hole. Uh, these, uh, we call them 14 events, bending events. Uh, for uh, bending cycles, we have seven. That is just in run in hole. Uh, you see it, a uh, hey bully uh, angle. Uh, when we, uh, this is the hey bully angle. When we have it like this, 90 degree, what will happen? The reading on the uh, counter will be uh, accurate. Uh, but if, uh, this angle is less uh, than uh, 90 degree, uh, then the uh, reading uh, will be more than the real reading. Uh, this 90 degree, say 80 degree. So it, if it is like this, like this, it, it will give more reading. Uh, the third case, uh, if it is more than 90 degree, uh, if it is like this and like this, it will give uh, less reading in the depth. Uh, in the tool string, we have uh, the following uh, items, rope socket, we saw it, that is connecting wire line uh, with uh, tool string. Uh, stem bar, also wire line, uh, that gives uh, weight uh, to the wire line, uh, tool string. Uh, we have uh, two or three or five feet. Uh, mechanical jar, uh, it acts uh, as if a hammer. Uh, this hammer uh, that is uh, making the action, uh, hammer up or hammer down. Uh, wire line and uh, knuckle joint. Uh, this, uh, if we have uh, deviated well or uh, we need uh, uh, more flexibility for the tool string, uh, in this case, we run it uh, uh, with, between the uh, sections of the uh, uh, tool string, wire line tool string. Uh, wire line, uh, at the end, we have wire line running or pulling tool uh, for running and retrieving devices from the wellbore. We have different running tools and different pulling tools, uh, different fishing tools, uh, plugs, uh, all of these, we can use them. Uh, all, wi all wire line uh, tools uh, are available in the, uh, have, have connections uh, or all threads uh, three types of threads. Saccharoid threads, we we'll see the photos for them now. Uh, UN threads and the quick lock uh, connection. You see them? This is the standard wireline to string, rope socket, stem, mechanical jar, knuckle joint, and the tool. Uh, here is the rig up. Uh, this is the stick line rig up, and this is the E line uh, rig up. You see this one. Here is the drum sheave. Uh, and uh, here stuffing box, uh, hay bully, then lubricator, uh, BOP, Christmas tree. Uh, here, uh, barriers, uh, we have three types of barriers uh, for uh, wire line. Uh, we have a primary barrier, uh, secondary barrier, and tertiary barrier. This is pressure control equipment. Uh, for a primary barrier, uh, for a slick line is the stuffing box. We saw it. Uh, the secondary barrier is uh, BOP and tertiary barrier is uh, hydraulically operated upper master bar. Uh, for braided line and electric line, we have a primary barrier is called grease injection head. Uh, secondary barrier BOP and tertiary barrier shear seal BOP. You see it, this one and this one. Here, this is the uh, primary barrier. And uh, here, the secondary barrier, the OP, tertiary barrier is the upper master bar. 
here is the standard jar track uh, platform express this is uh, and there uh, there will be crane to hang this uh, uh, pressure control equipment uh, at surface it has a height plus minus 38 feet uh, here we have uh, uh, examples of barriers. We have stepping box. This is the primary barrier. We have a uh, secondary barrier, uh, BOP. Uh, this is wire slick line BOP, uh, not braided line, slick line. Uh, and here a grease injection head uh, for braided line and uh, the uh, electric line. You see, a wireline operation can be carried out on live ways and dead ways. In live ways and dead ways, uh, in this case, we should have minimum three tested and verified uh, barriers. Here are the uh, uh, unions uh, or threads uh, that uh, we talked about them just now. Uh, we have wireline tools, connections, uh, thread types. We have saccharoid threads. Uh, these ones, like this one. Uh, we have UN threads, these ones, and a quick union uh, for uh, wellhead equipment. Quick union, we have uh, Bowen and Otis. Uh, Bowen, you see it, uh, the uh, ceiling area is 90 degree, uh, while uh, Otis, uh, Otis type, it has uh, 45 degree, you see? This is uh, between the lubricator sections. Uh, the tools uh, that can be run uh, uh, in the well uh, during uh, this uh, wireline operation, we can mention the following uh, Baker C1 running tool, B shifting tool. Uh, this is for setting and pulling, uh, for setting the plugs. This is for open and close uh, SSD sliding side door. Uh, this is type uh, CMD. Uh, this is uh, the uh, uh, different type of uh, sliding side door. We need uh, another shifting tool. Uh, it is called D2 shifting tool for uh, DU uh, SSD. Uh, GS uh, pulling tool uh, for uh, setting and pulling uh, uh, subsurface safety valve. We have a GDC camcorn pulling tool, uh, RB pulling tool, uh, different types, uh, impression block, uh, magnets, well, fishing tools. We have Godevil, wire grab, wire finder. Uh, here we have stuffing box packing, this one. We have Baker uh, V packing, this one. Different, different. Uh, we have a spear, uh, internal fishing neck. We have a blind box if we want to cut the wire. Uh, gauge cutter just to drip the well, knuckle joint uh, for a deviated well, uh, swaging tool if we have damage in the tubing uh, we, and we want to fix it, uh, we uh, run this swaging tool. Uh, sample baler, uh, if we want to take a sample from the bottom hole, uh, either fluid or uh, solid or sand or scale, we can uh, run it and take sample. Uh, stem, uh, this is the stem bar. Uh, it gives uh, weight for the uh, tool uh, string of the wire line. Uh, quick connection, this one, you see, uh, quick connection. This is a thread, and this is a quick connection. Uh, diamond uh, brooch uh, or wire brush. If we want to brush uh, R nipple or F nipple or SSD, there is a scale inside it. Uh, in this case, uh, we can uh, run this brush. Uh, wax uh, knife also, uh, we can cut the wax. It is uh, 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 like a solid uh, oil uh, depositing on the internal side of the completion and the uh, completion components. In this case, we can cut this wax and uh, retrieve uh, and uh, continue the production uh, with the same uh, rate before uh, uh, this uh, obstruction uh, in the way, which is wax, uh, heavy oil depositing on the internal side of the tube. A tubing and locator, we, if we want to uh, uh, locate the uh, uh, last end uh, or the bottom end of the tubing, 
we uh, run this tubing and locator with wire line uh, and uh, we uh, we run it uh, below the wireline entry guide when we pull it uh, here uh, this will stop it if it uh, stops uh, what will happen uh, the tension will increase uh, if it increases uh, then we uh, pull uh, very fast in this case uh, when we pull very fast this will be broken and we know that at this depth, we have the wire line entry guide. We have a tubing brush. We put uh, wire here or braided line and do brush, same as this. Also, we do brush. Uh, which uh, also uh, rope socket. Uh, this is the internal side of the rope socket. We put the wire like this and uh, we uh, take it from the other side, this one. And the uh, other side will go down. Here, uh, here is the workshop uh, of the wireline. These are the most uh, wireline tools uh, that uh, are run in the uh, way. This is a wireline workshop. Uh, the most uh, common, uh, here uh, we have uh, the most common applications for slick line uh, are, uh, we can mention tag TD, uh, uh, gauge cutter just to make uh, check the accessibility or if there is any collapse in the tubing. Uh, what else? Uh, we have also uh, bailing uh, sand debris uh, from the plug or from the downhole, uh, open and close uh, SSD uh, sleeves, uh, setting and pulling plugs and chokes, uh, setting and pulling gas lift valve. So different, different, uh, about 20 or 30 functions, uh, running uh, tailpipe uh, even also. Uh, also, we can do a uh, bottom hole uh, pressure and temperature surveys. We mentioned that uh, before, the bottom hole uh, closing the pressure, bottom hole, flow pressure, pressure fall of survey, modified ice chrono test. So we can run the memory gaze and do uh, these surveys for uh, one day or for 20 days or sometimes for two months. So it depends uh, on the period uh, that uh, the program requires that. Uh, spinner surveys also, we have a spinner to uh, know what is, a, we, uh, what is producing from this uh, zone, what is producing from this zone. So we can uh, say that uh, this zone is producing water, this zone is producing oil, this zone is producing gas and so on. This is called PLT TDT. PLT is the abbreviation for production logging tool uh, and TDT mm -hmm. is the abbreviation of a thermal decay time. It is a tool and uh, we can uh, do, uh, these are uh, geophysic uh, surveys. Uh, Kinley perforator also we can uh, punch, make a punch in the tubing using it. Uh, sand line cutter, also, if we have sand, we can run the cutter and uh, remove this sand and let it uh, produce to the surface. We can do a run caliper also uh, to make sure uh, that the integrity uh, of the completion is okay. There is no uh, uh, lack of integrity. Uh, the tubing uh, wall thickness is okay. So this is the caliper. Running production logging uh, tools. Uh, also, uh, we uh, we can uh, do gamma ray, CCL, um, logging tool, uh, noise log. All of these, we have. Uh, we are coming now uh, to the types of the uh, logging uh, tools: uh, open hole logs and uh, cased hole logs. We will do them. Also, we have fishing operations. Uh, we, uh, if we have stuck uh, tools, we can do fishing. Uh, paraffin, wax, scale cutting, uh, shipping uh, ice, uh, lubricating uh, long assemblies, uh, bottom hole sampling, uh, detonating, perforating guns. Uh, so all of these, uh, we cannot uh, uh, say that we uh, uh, do a small uh, job on this. We have too many, uh, too uh, variability. Uh, uh, the uh, operation is very variable. Uh, and we can uh, take uh, much benefit of it. Detect the fluid level if we have gas, oil, and water. So how can you uh, do it? Uh, we run the blind box. 
and at the uh, uh, interference between gas and oil, the uh, weight uh, will drop uh, suddenly. Why? Because there is a buoyancy factor for the oil more than the gas. Uh, in this case, the weight will drop dramatically. Uh, also, if you are in the oil, running in the oil, and you uh, face the uh, oil water uh, fluid level, uh, in this case, uh, also the uh, weight of the tool string will drop. Why? Because the uh, buoyancy factor of the water is higher than the oil, and so on. So we can utilize it uh, and see why is uh, the well uh, dead, uh, what is the reason why if you want to kill a whale, you want uh, to take this data also. Uh, sometimes you have uh, pieces of metal uh, at the bottom of the well. It uh, uh, fell down for some reason. We don't know. So we have to run the magnet and uh, retrieve it. Either a small uh, piece or big piece or uh, whatever, uh, we have to deal with it. Uh, set and pull subsurface safety valve for working redress. Uh, for well and retrieval subsurface safety valve, uh, normally uh, we uh, need every 12 months or 24 months to retrieve it and uh, set it again. Or before uh, we run the cold tubing. Uh, if we want to do well intervention, we want to do stimulation like this. We have well and retrieval subsurface safety valve. In this case, what uh, do we need? We want to uh, retrieve uh, this uh, uh, well and retrieval subsurface safety valve, uh, then uh, reset it again after the uh, culture operation. Uh, for the uh, fishing, uh, we have here, uh, if we uh, usually refers to attempting to retrieve uh, lost tools or wire or other debris. Uh, so this is uh, the, uh, the fishing operation. It is very interesting, very fantastic. Uh, you can uh, see that uh, you, when you fish something uh, from the well to the string or wire, that you feel, feel uh, yourself very happy. Uh, it happened uh, many times with us, uh, and it will happen in the future. So as you uh, have intervention to the well, in this case, you will need uh, to find fishing in, uh, for some reason, uh, because nothing is perfect. Uh, sometimes from the well, sometimes from the crew, uh, sometimes from the equipment, from sometimes from the wire line. If the wire line has a micro corrosion inside it, you cannot see it. You cannot, you do your job as per procedures, but if uh, you uh, have anything uh, uncontrolled, uh, what can you do? It is come. Then you have to plan to fish this wire uh, and uh, we, uh, you can uh, retrieve it. It is not uh, a very difficult operation. There is a procedure. Uh, you can uh, do it and uh, maybe on a daily basis, this happens uh, every, uh, in every place in the world. So don't worry about it. You are dealing with a dangerous environment uh, and you have uh, to deal with it uh, professionally uh, and uh, with uh, less uh, risk. A braided line, uh, we uh, said that it is for fishing, uh, stuck while line to string and for swabbing. Normal size is a 316 inch. Uh, these are uh, types the, for braided line, conventional and diaphon. Advantages, uh, it has uh, more, uh, uh, it is made of synthetic uh, solid uh, materials and can uh, make uh, more tension than uh, stick line. Also, uh, we can uh, say that uh, many braided lines are very difficult to break. It is not easy to break, same as stick line. Uh, braided line can also be, uh, uh, have a longer uh, real life because we don't use it uh, continuously. We use stick line continuously. But for this one, uh, we can uh, use it uh, from time to time. Maybe during one month, you use it one week, not more than that. So uh, it, uh, it is uh, more uh, strong and uh, we can uh, uh, solid, more solid. Uh, disadvantages uh, of uh, these, 
uh, braided line. Uh, one disadvantage uh, is when uh, snagged, uh, when snagged, it sometimes becomes very difficult to break. If it latches the two string uh, of the wire line and you cannot uh, retrieve it, what will happen? Uh, the uh, the uh, in, this engagement uh, is not easy at all. So you have to consider this one. Also, braided line is generally more expensive. Uh, also, a braided line may not be the best uh, uh, choice for fishing uh, clear water. It is not uh, used in the clear water in general. Uh, if uh, backlash, the braided line can sometimes be very difficult to untangle. Uh, most braided lines uh, more, uh, require uh, much uh, sharper instruments to cut it because it is uh, thick. Uh, big uh, size, uh, seven over 32. So you need uh, more, uh, you use a shear seal BOP to cut it uh, because upper master valve cannot cut it. Uh, electric line, uh, you uh, have uh, logging, uh, do it, uh, perforation and water shuttle. Uh, wireline logging, uh, we have uh, three, uh, two types of uh, wireline logs, open hole logs and uh, cased hole logs. Uh, we need uh, uh, some uh, of you who just uh, anyone has uh, any experience in the logging just to tell us uh, what is uh, what are the types of the uh, logging uh, that are uh, used. Yes, tell me. We want to take a break for two minutes uh, and you can uh, tell us uh, these are the types of open hole and uh, cased hole. Okay, yes. anyone has the answer can raise a hand. These are here. You can just uh, look at them. And you, if you have any idea, you can read them only. Yes, Mr. Adul Fakhar, go ahead. Uh... لا دكتور ما يصير اشارك انا نو بروبليم لا ما يصير يو ار ون اوف اس نو بروبليم لا اخذ اخذ دور المحايد نو بروبليم اوبن هول لوجز وات وات ار ذا تايبس تيل مي عندنا احنا النيوترون والدنسيتي و ريزستيفيتي ريزستيفيتي عندنا والاس بي والكاليبر Yes, so a nuclear log, a nuclear magnetic resistance. So you can uh, uh, memorize these, uh, write them in your uh, book. I think uh, it will be uh, uh, very useful for you for the future. Then uh, mud uh, logging, uh, sonic uh, logging, uh, then uh, specialty logs. Uh, this is the open hole caliber that you talked about it. Casing color locator, casing inspection, uh, borehole imaging, uh, downhole magnetic surveys. Uh, we can go to uh, cased hole uh, logs, which is a temperature log, radioactive tracer log, noise log, uh, diverting spinner flow meter, continuous and uh, full uh, bore spinner flow meters. Uh, we can take uh, 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 an example of the logs, uh, which is noise log. A noise log, if we want to uh, see where is uh, the leak uh, coming from, uh, from behind the intermediate casing or from the production casing uh, or from the surface casing, from uh, casing to casing or from casing to uh, annulus or from annulus to tubing. So this noise log will give us uh, an idea about it uh, and it will determine uh, what is uh, going on. It needs two days. Uh, for uh, pro, uh, for uh, making it first day, take, we take the background in the well. The second day, uh, we can uh, do the uh, main uh, job and uh, identify the flow path uh, to be determined using the nodes. You see it here. We have uh, here the uh, leak from here to here. In this case, we there will be sound. The sound uh, will we will hear it uh, with this 
with this tool, uh, logging tool. Here we have perforation. Uh, we, if we want to perforate the well, uh, we have uh, these uh, perforations, you see them. This is, we can run it and uh, use the electric line. And here uh, after the uh, perforation. Uh, we have three types of perforation uh, through casing perforation. This one, you see it with the uh, rig on site. Uh, we have a through uh, tubing perforation. We have uh, the, the tubing here uh, and we run it through it. And uh, here we have it through uh, tubing conveyed uh, perforation. We can shoot and drop or keep it with us to the surface. So three types of perforation. Also, this is uh, the uh, pressure control equipment while perforation on the wellhead well head and pressure control equipment during perforation. Uh, slick line uh, pressure control equipment, we can uh, see them uh, here. Uh, we can see a stuffing box, chemical injection sub. You see them. Uh, then hydraulic uh, tool catcher, lubricator sections. Uh, we have a hydraulic tool trap if required, uh, quick uh, test sub. Uh, wireline BOPs with the blind drums, uh, riser and pump in T, and Christmas tree adapter or crossover. This is for slick line. For uh, braided line, uh, we have some uh, minor change uh, in it. Uh, we can uh, mention them. Uh, hydraulic packing nut uh, or stuffing box at the top. Then below it, there is line wiper. Then uh, grease injection head, the flow tubes. Then hydraulic tool catcher, lubricator sections, uh, hydraulic tool catcher, uh, if required, uh, this is, uh, we mentioned it here, uh, quick test sub, uh, this is a tool trap, we call it, uh, hydraulic tool a trap here, if required. Uh, quick test sub, uh, dual braided uh, line BOP, uh, riser, uh, we have uh, this riser, uh, then a shear seal BOP, then pump in T or sub, then Christmas tree crossover. Uh, this one also we repeated the standard wireline equipment area. Uh, here, this is uh, for the braided line, this is for the wireline, wireline pressure control equipment for wireline and uh, braided line, on electric line, of course. This is the stuffing box. Uh, we run the wire from here, the uh, hay pulley to here. Uh, we have a nut here. Uh, and here we pump uh, a hydraulic oil. To here there is piston, then a spring, then uh, upper bushing. Uh, and it can push uh, on the packing, uh, three or four uh, packing elements uh, around the wire and can achieve the seal. And run in hole to the wire. Uh, here uh, we have chemical injection sub if we want to uh, pump chemicals, uh, pump lubricant, uh, pump uh, chemical, uh, we can pump also uh, uh, chemicals for dehydra uh, dehydration. Uh, if we have uh, hydrates, we can uh, pump methanol or glycol. So all of these uh, through the chemical injection sub. Uh, we have a hydraulic tool catcher if the tool uh, is uh, the wire line operator is putting the uh, tool string uh, fast to the surface, then uh, the wire may cut because he has to run a uh, pull out a hole slowly, slowly. So if it is cut, then it will not drop uh, in the well. Why? Because this hydraulic tool catcher will catch it. You see, these uh, are the risers, uh, lubricator, uh, two or three uh, pieces of riser. Uh, it is called lubricator. It should uh, be, uh, it should uh, uh, have uh, a bigger ID uh, than uh, the uh, most uh, uh, OD of the tool string. Uh, it should have a length uh, uh, enough to contain the tool string uh, of the uh, wire line. Uh, and the lower section uh, should uh, have a bigger uh, or uh, bigger uh, size than the upper uh, sections to 
contain the uh, tool string that is uh, run on the wireline tool string. You see, uh, this is, uh, uh, we call it uh, the hydraulic tool trap. Uh, the tool string is going up, uh, then it will not uh, go down. Uh, if even if it is, uh, if the wire line is cut, uh, it will not uh, drop uh, down the hole. Uh, quick test sub. If we uh, do uh, different uh, uh, runs in the well, for example, uh, perforation. In this case, uh, we don't do uh, the same uh, pressure test uh, every time. What will happen? We do only. Uh, in the beginning for the whole uh, pressure contra equipment, then the uh, runs uh, that are uh, later uh, to be run uh, later, we uh, do the test uh, from this one only, between two uh, O-rings. If it is okay, then we can continue, uh, especially if we have perforation. If we have perforation, what will happen? Uh, if we uh, increase the pressure in the lubricator, the uh, guns uh, may uh, fire. In this case, you will be in trouble. Uh, here are uh, the uh, uh, wire line uh, valves or the open. This is uh, dual and this is single. We have uh, the uh, rams. You see them here, the rams. If you close it, you have to close it uh, hydraulically first, then manually. This one. And it has a blind. Look at me like this. You see, the wire is uh, included in this rubber. A rubber is here, and rubber is here. If you see it here, there is rubber, and here is the rubber. It is a blind, a blind like this. Here is uh, the uh, single uh, wire line BOP, and here are the uh, pieces of it here. Here is the uh, ram inner seal. You see blind, a blind, and here is the guide. So if we change this uh, wire line BOP uh, from uh, this uh, to braided line, we have to change uh, these two pieces, ram guide and ram inner seal, because with the braided line there should be here uh, like a groove because the cable is big. While here it is blind. Uh, here we have pump in piece. Sometimes we need to pressure test the lubricator or to kill the well. Uh, in this case, we uh, run, uh, we rig up the pump in piece or so. Uh, we have a wellhead adapter also. Uh, these are planes and adapter to connect uh, the uh, pressure control equipment. Uh, with this uh, to the wellhead and to the uh, pressure control equipment. Uh, braided line and stuffing box, uh, we uh, have it uh, suitable to use uh, with the braided line uh, and uh, providing a partial seal uh, around uh, during the application, such as a swabbing. So this, uh, we have it uh, different uh, than uh, the slick line. It has, uh, uh, it is a braided line. So even if you uh, apply uh, pressure on it, uh, it will not uh, uh, hold uh, the uh, pressure. There should be grease around it. How we can do that using the grease injection head? We'll go uh, to it. You see, this is the grease injection head. Uh, at the top, uh, you have a stuffing box. Below it, uh, you have this line wiper. You see the line wiper. And below it, uh, you have uh, here the uh, grease injection head. We pump the uh, grease uh, from here, the bottom uh, flow tube, and uh, we uh, retrieve it, uh, circulate it from the upper one, the upper connection. So hydraulic line wiper uh, is this one, uh, any, uh, Lee, uh, any grease uh, uh, is, is still in the wire line, uh, it will not get out. It will uh, go to the uh, uh, to the return uh, uh, drum or grease drum. Uh, so here we can achieve uh, this one, uh, the seal around the uh, cable using 
uh, the uh, pressure that is uh, pumped here uh, and uh, retrieve it uh, here, receive it here. So as if circulation here uh, in and out and the pressure should be 110% of the uh, wellhead uh, pressure. So if you have a uh, wellhead pressure, uh, 1000 PSI, you have to pump here 1100 uh, PSI uh, degrees and you will achieve your C. Uh, here, uh, working pressure uh, for this line wiper, we mentioned it, uh, 3000 and 5000 PSI. Uh, here, the grease injection head, uh, as we told you, uh, it is uh, grease injection uh, is injected from the bottom and we receive it from the top. And the uh, clearance between the braided line and the uh, OD uh, braided line or electric line and ID of the uh, flow uh, tube, here uh, are the flow tubes three or four or five or six pieces uh, of the flow line, uh, it, uh, it will make uh, the grease injection head. So uh, if we uh, pump here and uh, we uh, retrieve the grease from here, uh, what will happen uh, in this case? Uh, what, uh, what will happen? Uh, yes, uh, we bump uh, grease from here and uh, it will be uh, the uh, return, the waste will be uh, to the drum here. Okay, uh, here we uh, connect the hand bump uh, to the stuffing box here. Uh, and we have uh, also, uh, here is the flow tube and uh, here is the cable. Uh, the clearance between them is between uh, 0 0.002 to 0 0.008 inch. So very small clearance. So if you pump here, it will not take uh, during the whole operation, maybe one liter or two liters, not more than that. In this case, you achieve uh, your seal uh, around the cable and work safely. You see it here also, check valve, uh, this ball, uh, if the wire, uh, the cable is cut and ejected uh, uh, out of the grease injection head, what will happen? Uh, there will be no uh, well fluids uh, getting out of the uh, stuffing box of the grease injection head because uh, this ball will uh, be pushed up uh, due, uh, due to the well head uh, pressure and uh, plug uh, this uh, flow uh, passage. In this uh, green one uh, will uh, move to here and close it and secure there. This is called a ball check valve. While in the uh, stuffing box of the uh, wire line, uh, we call it uh, wire line uh, BOP plunger. So that one, uh, if we, uh, I will show you uh, what is uh, this wire line uh, BOP plunger. Uh, the reasons uh, for a uh, braided line uh, grease uh, seal leak, uh, sometimes the grease is not uh, working uh, very uh, well. Uh, so we have uh, different reasons. Uh, this is more detail if you, I think you don't need it, don't need it, but if you want to look at it, it is here. Uh, to prevent uh, the uh, leaking from grease injection head, you have uh, to run uh, in hole slowly. Uh, and uh, increase the injection, grease injection pressure to 1,110% of wallet closing pressure. We mentioned that also, uh, help the grease to flow into the well rather than out of it, uh, pass a well grease the section of wire through the flow tube. Uh, here uh, is the uh, wire line uh, BOP uh, for braided line, you see, we have uh, uh, every, this is single barrier. This is called single barrier. It is dual. If we want to do double barrier, it will be four rounds, okay? Four rounds. So here, uh, this one, uh, normally uh, the uh, BOPs are holding pressure from the direction of flow. What does it mean, direction of flow? Where is the direction of flow? From the bottom to up. 
in this case, this uh, run, you see it, uh, will, if it, you close it uh, around the wire, it will uh, uh, prevent the flow from bottom to up, this one. Why this one, it is inverted. This is normal, this is inverted. If it is uh, uh, closed, in this case, it will not hold the pressure because it is uh, holding uh, the uh, grease uh, pressure, not the well pressure, because here we have injection point for the grease. This injection uh, point for the grease, what will happen? The grease will go up and go down. Go, go down, uh, it will push uh, this uh, uh, ram uh, around the cable. But not the well uh, pressure will uh, uh, will uh, act it will act the seal only the grease and here also the grease uh, will push it up and make the seal. Uh, it is clear, I think, for you. Uh, here uh, the same uh, uh, photo uh, for the uh, dual BOP. You see it. Uh, here is uh, uh, normal uh, run. Here is inverted run. So uh, here we have uh, to inject the grease between them. You see grease injection port you, here. And we can uh, uh, do the seal. If you, uh, this is dual braided line BOP. If you want a double, you have to put two plus two. So four, this is uh, four. Uh, then uh, the uh, rounds, uh, what is the shape of the round? It will be from the top, it will be normal, inverted, normal, inverted. So four rounds, this is very important. And here is the top sub, here is the bottom sub. Uh, here we uh, have, we passed now uh, two, two hours. Uh, I will uh, stop uh, after this uh, slide and uh, uh, I think you became tired uh, and uh, more than two hours, it will not be okay. So a three, a triple uh, BOP here, uh, we can may have a dual uh, BOP, uh, two rounds or a triple BOP, three rounds or a double BOP, which is uh, four rounds, a normal uh, inverted, normal inverted. So four rounds. Uh, here is the uh, shear seal BOP. Uh, this is the tertiary barrier uh, because if the primary barrier, which is a grease injection head, uh, or and uh, BOP, which is the secondary uh, uh, primary, uh, the secondary barrier uh, failed, uh, failed. What will happen? Uh, we have to uh, go to the tertiary barrier, which is uh, shear seal BOP. Uh, here, the rounds, you see uh, this ram as if knife. It will cut the cable and make the seal. You see it? It is very clear for you. In this case, you can uh, make a seal uh, and secure the well because the primary barrier has failed. Secondary barrier has failed. What can you do? Go to the tertiary barrier. Uh, here uh, is also the uh, typical uh, wireline rig up for pressure control equipment. Here we mentioned it. Uh, what else, uh, BOP pressure test. Uh, if we want to uh, do pressure test to check the integrity of oil uh, joints in the BOP stack, uh, BOP uh, seals and valves. Uh, we have uh, to uh, clear, uh, we can uh, use the uh, function test, open and close, and uh, then uh, pressure test. If we have a wire line, we can uh, blind, we uh, do the uh, blind. Uh, if uh, we have a braided line, we put this bar uh, and we close it and uh, inject uh, grease uh, between the two rounds and uh, see if there is any leak. Uh, this uh, test of the uh, BOP uh, should be done uh, uh, in two cases. Uh, when uh, we uh, want to start uh, an operation, uh, and uh, the other one, when we suspect a leak, uh, and uh, in this case, we send uh, this uh, BOP to the workshop and uh, bring a new untested one 
uh, and uh, uh, do pressure test and function test before uh, rigging up, before uh, running in hole. Uh, and in this case, uh, we are uh, making sure that uh, we have uh, uh, certified and tested uh, barrier uh, and the uh, testing should not exceed the 21 uh, days. Uh, here also we have uh, two tests, uh, low pressure and high pressure. Uh, low pressure, uh, uh, if we, uh, we have to do it between 250 and 350 PSI for five minutes. Uh, for high pressure, uh, we uh, do it 110% of wellhead closed in a pressure for 10 minutes. Uh, why? Because uh, a low pressure test, if we have uh, the pin and box uh, of the uh, test uh, of the lubricator uh, is damaged, uh, the, this pin and box, uh, and uh, we go straight away to the uh, uh, high pressure, in this case, the O-ring, what will happen? It will prevent us from knowing that there is a, a leak here. So we stop at uh, 250 for five minutes. If it is okay, then go to high pressure. Uh, and uh, here is uh, the pressure test uh, of wire line BOP. Uh, we do the pressure test body. Uh, it depends on the uh, working pressure, if it is 5,000 or uh, 10,000, 15,000, 20,000, we have criteria. This is API criteria. Uh, grease required to close uh, the BOP. I think uh, it is uh, now we finished uh, two hours. Uh, uh, Mr. Dudfakar, if you want to continue, I think you became third. Uh, thank you, Mr. Samar. I think yeah. now we can uh, get questions from uh, the audience. Yes. If anyone has a question, can raise a hand. Uh, anyone uh, has uh, written any uh, uh, question in the uh, in the system here or not? Uh, okay, uh, no problem. Uh, I think we can. I think, we can I think there is no question because it was a very a very clear lecture. Thank you, Mr. Samer, for uh, the great um, for the great knowledge, and I think uh, now we're gonna end uh, the lecture. Thank you for your time with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good luck. Thank you.